Victoria is toasting a major milestone with our dams full for the first time in a generation. I've got to ask you, Keith, you got uh, a dodgy dam built by Labor. You've got all of these people who are culturalists move to your region. Deep in the heart of Queensland, Australia, along the tranquil Burnett River, stands a dam with a dark and tragic history. Paradise Dam. What once promised to be a shining example of modern engineering, a lifeline to farmers and communities, has instead become one of the nation's greatest infrastructure failures. In 2005, when Paradise Dam was first constructed, it was seen as a beacon of hope. At a cost of 240 million Australian dollars, it was designed to secure the future of Queensland's agricultural industry providing much needed water to crops, farms, and shielding local towns from devastating floods. But what was supposed to stand for over a century is now deemed doomed and completely beyond repair. It was in 2013, just eight years after its construction, that the cracks in this dream began to show. Queensland was hit by one of the worst floods in its history. The Burnett River surged with a record-breaking flood, exposing fatal flaws in the dam's structure. The dam survived, but only just. Over $23 million were spent repairing the damage, but it wasn't enough. Despite the repairs, the structural integrity of Paradise Dam continued to weaken. The dam, which was supposed to protect the region, became a ticking time bomb for the 60,000 people living downstream. Fears grew that the dam might collapse under extreme weather conditions threatening not just farms, but entire communities. By 2020, the situation had become dire. In an attempt to avoid catastrophe, the dam's wall was lowered by 5.8 meters, reducing its capacity by a staggering 60%. For the farmers, this was a devastating blow. With less water, their crops suffered, and livelihoods were put at risk. Australia, a land known for its harsh droughts, had lost one of its most precious resources, Paradise Dam, once seen as a protector of agriculture, now stood as a symbol of uncertainty and failure. And yet, the worst was still to come. In 2023, after years of debate and pressure, the government committed $1.2 billion to restore the dam to its former capacity. But the dream was short-lived. As engineers worked to strengthen the dam, they made a shocking discovery the concrete used in its construction had started to disintegrate. The very foundation of Paradise Dam was crumbling. Investigations revealed that the concrete mix used was of poor quality, containing too much clay and too little cement. This made the dam vulnerable to moisture, causing the concrete to swell and shrink, further weakening the structure. Tests confirmed the worst fears. Paradise Dam was beyond repair. The concrete had degraded far faster than anyone had anticipated. After millions of dollars invested in building and attempting to fix the dam, the only solution was clear. Abandon Paradise Dam and start anew. The government has decided to build a new dam 70 meters downstream from the original. But will this new dam succeed where its predecessor failed? The engineers must ensure it can withstand the floods and changing climate conditions that Queensland will face in the coming decades. It's a high-stakes project, with no room for mistakes. But not everyone is convinced. Environmentalists are worried about the impact of building another massive dam on the Burnett River's ecosystem. The river is home to many species, including the endangered Queensland lungfish, which depends on the natural flow of the river for survival. The construction of the first dam already destroyed habitats, and submerged entire communities. Will history repeat itself? As plans for the new dam take shape, questions remain. Can the new dam be built quickly enough to protect the region? Will it be able to withstand the extreme floods that are becoming more frequent due to climate change? And most importantly, will it restore water security to the farmers who depend on it? The story of Paradise Dam serves as a stark reminder of the risks that come with large-scale infrastructure projects. What was supposed to be a cornerstone of prosperity for Queensland has become a cautionary tale. Yet there is still hope. If the lessons of the past are heeded, the new dam could secure the future of the region 
and stand as a testament to human resilience and ingenuity. As we move forward, Paradise Dam's failure will be remembered not just for the lives it endangered, but for the opportunity it offers to rebuild stronger, smarter, and more sustainably. What are your thoughts on rebuilding Paradise Dam? Can we learn from the mistakes of the past and create something that will truly last? Leave your thoughts in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to I Am Civil Engineer for more stories about engineering marvels and their challenges from around the world. Thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next video.